Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can use a query to make an archive table and use a query to delete records that are no longer needed or add records to an archive table. So first of all, let's create a query that will make a table. So query design and then this is the table I want, but let's just have a quick look at these students. I've just opened that. So I want to create a table that will archive old records. So first of all, that is what I'm going to recreate. So let's just add that. And when you go into query design, you've got make table as an option. So you give the table a name. So TBL archive. That's what we're going to call it in this database. Click OK and then you add the columns that you want to use. Well, I want to use all the columns, so I'm just going to drag them down there. So when I run this, it's going to paste 11 rows into the new table and there are only 11 rows in that table. So yes to that. And then you've got a TBL archive, which is a duplicate of students at the minute. So what I want to do now is just close this down. I want to delete all these records that I've got in the archive table. So if I close everything down, don't want to save that. And then create another query, a delete query. It's create query, design, delete. So bring all the archive table in, double click it and highlight everything and drag it down. So you now get a where line. Where do I want to delete these? So basically, Anything that is less than today, I want to delete it. So that's the today function or now function. So if I run that, it's going to delete 11 records from the archive table, which is what I've just used to create. Yes. And then if I open the archive table, it should be blank, which it is. So it's now ready for me to do archived records. So if I just close this query down, no. And then go back to students and let's change some of these dates. So I've got two dates there where they're all dates 2021. So let's move these two into the archive table. So that's what I want to do. So students move two and then I can delete them off this table. So let's run that. So create a new query. All of this would be automated once you get your database set up create macros to do all this and just click a button and it will just update it but this is the steps the process so I need to bring the students table in double click drop it in there so I want to add add these onto the archive table so this is append an append query an add-on click on that one append to the table archive okay which is blank at the minute okay and we've got date join there so this is what i need to be appending the criteria is going to be any record that is less than the first of january 2022 let's have a look at that one so if i run that it's going to append two rows yes now if i open the archive table there they are sitting in the archive table close that down so now what I want to do is delete from the students table those two records. So if I go back to query design and click on delete, what I must do before I run this is check if I go into database tools, relationships, that these links allow cascading deletes. If I just double click on that line. So cascade deleted records. So when I delete these two records, it's going to delete any any records that are in this courses table which is okay but it might not always be okay so you just have to be careful about that otherwise you won't be able to do this little uh, video so if that was sales figures and you're allocating sales and you're doing calculations on sales you wouldn't be able to cascade the delete but in this case you're moving a student and you're not bothered about the courses that they did so the student details is going into the archive table you might want to run a query that does both links the actual courses that the student did and puts that into an archive table as well as the student details. It's totally up to you, but this will work now because I've got that ticked. Click OK to that, close this down. 
So when I run this, it should allow me to delete two records. Run. Yes. And then if I just check that it's pulled them 2021 off this table, which it has. And I've still got them in there. If I made a mistake, I can copy and paste them back in. But it would change the ID numbers. So we did a delete query, we did a make table query, and we've done an append query. So hopefully that's of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.